Hey everybody, Barker here from Be A Better Game Master, and I'm here with a video response to one of uh, Hamanope's videos regarding uh, empty rooms in your dungeon. Now, as you can see, I am in my vehicle now, and I do not want to die in a fiery death, so please excuse the times where I pause for a second to change lanes and not die. Basically, I saw this video this morning, and I'll link it in the, uh, in the video description below. Uh, Hamanope's video about empty rooms in your dungeon, and he raised a couple of really interesting points, and more than anything, he just got my brain spinning around, stirring around, thinking about uh, what an empty room really means in a game. And I didn't realize how many ideas or thoughts or just theories or just anything, uh, any sort of subject, I didn't realize how many subjects would be brought up um, with this simple subject of empty rooms in a dungeon until I saw his video. So basically, let me tell you first how I kind of do it. Um, I just want to clarify really quick, there's a difference between empty and boring, okay? Not every room should have monsters in it. Not every room should have magic items in it. Um, but every room should kind of have a purpose. Why is this room here? Why? In, in a setting that's somewhat reminiscent to medieval Europe, why would they build this room? Because they wouldn't build it just to be like, all right, guys, let's build this building and uh, and we're going to demolish it. Let's demolish it because in 300 years, this party of adventurers is going to need to come through here and be like, oh, well, monsters. No, no. If there's a, if you're in ruins, for example, just to keep the building ruins idea going, if you're in a, if your players are in ruins, um, and they're in this ruined building, what was that building? Was it a temple? Was it a school? Was it an orphanage? Uh, was it a, a, a tavern, an inn? Was it a bathroom? I mean, what, uh, and, and what you're going to do is leave the clues there. Leave some clues to show your players, hey, this is what this place is. Um, remember, uh, you can have an empty room be very interesting. The second idea that crossed my mind is that an empty room in your game is actually a very good way of seeing what your game is. Let's say, hypothetically, you have players and they have their characters and you're, they're in a dungeon and uh, one of the characters opens a door and says, oh, what do I see? And you say, oh, the room is empty. Well, you shouldn't say the room is empty. You should say, well, you don't see much in here. You, ah, again, I'm driving. Sorry, I had to accelerate. Excuse me for two seconds while I fix my video. There we are. Um, but let's say they open the door and you say, well, there's a, uh, you decide it's janitorial. So there's a bucket there with disgusting water, old water with, uh, you know, mold in it and moss in it and sponges. And if they see that uh, and they say, okay, never mind," And they shut the door and they say, okay, let's go to the next one. You know that your campaign might be maybe just a little bit too combat hack and slash heavy. Of course, if that's what you like and that's what your players like, do it. Don't change it. You, you, if you're all having a good time around the table, then you're doing something right. On the other hand, though, if your player says, Oh, a bucket filled with murky water? Well, I look in the murky water. I investigate it. I, I see if there's any magic items in the sponges. You know, If they spend an hour on the empty room, you're probably giving them a little too much. All right, Your room should, uh, your empty room should be empty, but not boring, okay? You should have empty rooms, but you should never have boring rooms. Think of a storyline for each room. Why is that room there? That helps me uh, come up with some interesting things they might find in a room. Things that are not plus five Vorpal swords, but things that are, strangely enough, equally as interesting. Oh, I can't see you and you can't see me and I'm probably gonna drop the camera again. Watch this, oh, nope. Either way, my name is Barker from Be A Better Game Master. I'm going to link uh, Hamanope's video in the video description. And I am also going to, later on, link the other video responses uh, to his video. And I'm sorry if I repeated anything said in the other video responses. Otherwise, double tap peace, drive safely, uh, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.